EA have decided to release a brand new Mascot Madness promo with a 110 overall Joel Embiid as the Grandmaster for this promo. It definitely feels like we are slowly wrapping things up for this season. Hopefully we will be getting some official season 9 news. Let me know in the comments down below though what other videos you would like me to do before the end of the season. But let's take a look at this event to see exactly what you can get anomaly spent and how you can go all the way and get yourself Embiid at a 110, Boucher over here at a 108 and and then Haze at a 108 as well. Let's take a look at the map itself. It's in the live today section of the game. There are two events which you can play for this promo specifically. They are either side of that game of the night event. The one on the left hand side is completely free to go ahead and play through. You'll notice each one of these is going to give you 300 of these mascot cheer points. There are five of these to play through, each one costing 50 stamina, and they are going to be on a 12 hour reset, meaning you can play through 10 events every 24 hours. So make sure you're making use of this to get as many points as you possibly can, because that is essentially what's gonna help you get through the milestones for this promo. On the right hand side of this, there is a VIP event. Now you do have to spend real money in the store in order to get this you can see it says purchase the mascot madness jumbo starter or vip event pass to unlock this event so that's you spending real money in order to unlock this event it's entirely up to you whether you want to do that these events are on a 24 hour reset five of them again to go ahead and play through 75 stamina is going to be the cost of every single one of these events each one is going to give you one of these claw tokens and each one will also give you 100 of the mascot madness points so those are going to help yourself out in the milestones which we'll go ahead and take a look at in these milestones you will get yourself some players you'll get yourself some tokens as well which are going to be very useful in upgrading these players because as you can see the very first select pack is going to give you a 93 overall player either Embiid, Boucher or Hayes it's up to you which one you go ahead and pick determining which one you actually want to go ahead and upgrade you will get three of these in total throughout the milestones so there's another one there at 10,000 points and there's a final one over here at 45,000 points so you can get all three of them essentially through this milestone section you will also notice you will get yourself raw tokens now these are specific to Joel and Bede you can't use these to upgrade the other two players you are only using that token to upgrade Joel Embiid. We will go on to the sets a little bit later on. You'll notice there are also the claw tokens. Now these are going to be used to upgrade the other two masters. Those are the two masters that get up to 108 overall, not the 110 Embiid. Those are specific to the other two masters. So you've essentially got two tokens, one for one set of masters and one for Joel Embiid. You'll also get yourself some pro packs over here. So you can see there's one there at 5,000 points. There's also going up to be a premium pack at 30k points and 55k will also get you another pack this time it's the prime pack just sort of upgrading bit by bit in terms of what players you're getting from those packs you will also notice at 22,000 points you can get yourself a city 76ers jersey now this will become very useful throughout the promo in trying to get yourself some small points as you can see in the top left hand corner of the jersey it is going to give out a points boost so once you've got this make sure you're going ahead and equipping it to the lineup that you're using to play through the event because every time you play through this event with the jersey equipped you will get yourself more points as you play through i believe it's a 10 percent bonus could be wrong about that if i'm wrong let me know in the comments down below but make sure you're equipping that because it again it just helps you get through those milestones a little bit quicker you'll notice at the very end it's just going to give you some more claw points in total you can get yourself four of these raw tokens and i'll go on to later exactly how you can get a couple more as we go ahead and take a look at the sets so in the set section over here mascot madness you basically got one row for each of the masters in terms of upgrading them we're going to skip past that for the moment and go on to these player exchanges because these are going to be ways of getting yourself some more mascot cheers you can see you exchange 688 to 92 overall players in order to get yourself 400 mascot cheer over here is 393 to 97 overall players to get yourself 800 mascot cheer and the final one the biggest one you can do is 1400 mascot cheer for any 98 plus overall player and of course you can put in past season players as you can see over here i could put in this steph curry from a couple seasons ago Kawhi leonard all of these guys are from past seasons you can put them into this set if you want to i believe all of them are on a 24 hour reset so they are repeatable however you're gonna have to wait every 24 hours for yourself to be able to do this because of that cooldown so you can do all of them every single day get yourself some more points and then of course get through those milestones a little bit further but in terms of upgrading your players we'll start off with jackson hayes and of course chris boucher if we start things off with the first set you're going to need the 93 overall version of all of them to get yourself up to 99 overall plus of course those 15 claw tokens to get them up to 103 is going to require another 30 claw tokens 
45 tokens to 106 and 120 tokens up to that 108 overall. So that is how you upgrade Haze over there. It's exactly the same thing in upgrading Chris Boucher. Of course, going up from 93 overall all the way up to that 108 overall player. Of course, you get the 93 overall select packs through those milestones. However, you can also skip the first set entirely because of course you're getting a 99 overall player. If you go over to the core trade up sets, you scroll all the way down to the 99 overall trade up set. You can test your luck with this set over here to try and get yourself the 99 overall Haze or Boucher to try and get yourself through the sets a little bit quicker because essentially that will save yourself a couple of tokens. It's not a massive amount. It's only 15, but essentially it will help yourself out a little bit more as you go through because tokens are going to become very valuable because there are limited ways in which you can get them. So that's just a little trick over there. Of course, it's all down to luck whether you get them or not from those trade up sets. Same with Embiid because of course the first set is going from a 93 to a 99. If you get the 99 overall player, you can essentially skip this step and go straight onto the next set over here. But he's going to work differently to the other two masters. You need those raw tokens in order to upgrade him. It's just one per set in order to upgrade him each time. So there's one to 106, another one to 108. 109 is where he starts to add that boost in. So this is going to be a scoring machine boost to position. It's a plus four one at that 109 overall. And then 110 overall play style select. He should have your team boost on him as well, which is very good over there. So each one of those sets is costing those raw tokens. Now I said in the milestones, you get four in total to get the other two because essentially you need six to get them all the way up to 110 overall. You're going to need to get them from completing these other two master sets. So if we tap on this info tab over here, you're trading the 106 overall and 120 claw tokens to get yourself the 108 overall and one raw token. And it's exactly the same for Jackson. Than Hayes over here. If you traded him in, and of course the tokens, you will get the 108 version and one extra raw token. So that gives you another two tokens in total, plus the four you're getting from the milestones should get you all the way from 93 overall Joe Embiid to that 110 overall. In the sort, there isn't a huge amount you can do. Normally spent, there are two packs in particular, one watch ad pack over here to get yourself some more mascot cheers, and then also a coin pack or a cash pack to get yourself some extra claw tokens. You can get three of them every single day. It's totally up to you whether you want to spend the coins. That'll be about 75K every single day. And over the course of the promo, it is going to add up and drain your coins out. The rest of the offers are, of course, NBA cash offers. There are money offers as well if you want to buy bundles. And of course, the VIP event pass should be unlocking here if you've played through, I believe, one event on the promo map. So that will come up if you want to go ahead and spend the money. Get yourself some more tokens, some more events to play through, and of course, some more cheer points. But now let's take a look at the calculation for this promo. If we take a look at the event itself on the live today map, each event is going to give you 300 points. You times that by five and by two because you can essentially play 10 events throughout the day. That's going to put your total up to 3000 points from this event alone. Then if we go into the store, you'll notice that extra watch ad pack. You can do it five times every single day, each one giving 100 points. That's an extra 500 points from that. Then through the sets, if you go ahead and do all three exchange sets, it will give yourself a total of 2400 100 points daily adding that all up gets you your daily total which is 5900 now there is no timer on the event itself through the live today section however if you look in the sets you go over to the section on the left hand side it does say the campaign will end in one week and three days of course it's not showing hours so i'm guessing it'll be one week and four days which gives you 11 days for this promo hopefully that timer is right and it is an actual 11 day promo so 5900 times 11 that is 64900 points which gets you fairly far through these milestones. I believe you would be able to push up to that 65k milestone with the jersey equipped. However, the 80k milestone, I'm not really sure that jersey will make that much of a difference getting you up to 80k. You might do, but I'm guessing you'll probably get up to the 65k milestone with the jersey. That in total gives you three raw tokens and 125 of the claw tokens. Now I said in the store, there is an extra pack which you can spend coins on or spend NBA cash on to get yourself one claw token. And you can do that three times every single day. So adding that up gets you 150. 58 claw tokens plus those three raw tokens which you can then go into the sets with if you want to go all the way and get your player from a 93 overall so just jackson and boucher getting them from a 93 all the way up to the 108 overall it's going to require 200 and 10 tokens. Even if you skip the first set, it's going to be over what you actually get, which is 158. So you can't unfortunately 
get up to a 108 overall play. You should be able to get up to a 106 overall play, whether that be Hayes or Boucher. It's entirely up to you whether those are going to help your team out. In terms of Joel Embiid, best case scenario, you pull the 99 overall player from the core trade up sets. You then get three of those raw tokens from the milestones. So that means you're straight onto this set. You do it once to get them up to 103, another time to 106, and then you get a 108 overall Joel Embiid. That is the best you can do. Nominally spent unless you've got a ton of NBA cash saved up. And then you can go ahead and of course spend it in the store to get yourself some more points and tokens to get yourself a bit further through the milestones. However, is going to require cash if you want to go ahead and get the master because I think more deals come out later on throughout the promo. I can't really work out exactly what you need to do or what you need to spend in order to get him. If you guys have done it in the past, let me know how much NBA cash roughly you've used in order to get him. Let me know also what you're going to do with this promo. And of course, let me know what other videos you would like to see before the season ends. So that's it from me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.